This is section 2. Consists of 50 marks. There are 8 questions and you are supposed to answer 5 out of the 8. Uh, each question is 10 marks, so that's how it's totaling to 50 marks. So you, you, the best way is to go uh, through the, all the questions and select the ones that you can be able to answer to the completion or you get maximum marks. So question number 17. We are told a factory packs fruit jam in cylindrical tins of radius 5 cm and height 15 cm. The tins are then packed into a rectangular carton uh, measuring 60 a centimeter long, 30 centimeter wide, and 30 centimeter high. Uh, determine the maximum number of tins that can be packed in one carton. Uh, we can uh, we can make a sketch of uh, the carton that uh, we we would think it looks like. Uh, so we can make a, a sketch like this one. Uh, we may come up with a cotton. So this is a rectangular uh, carton. So this is 60 centimeter, this is 30, uh, this is t uh, 30. Uh, so the tin, we have the tin there, uh, we have our tin there. We are told it has a radius of, of um, 5 centimeter, meaning that the diameter is 10 centimeter. So if you pack uh, here, uh, 10, 10, 10, you pack six of them, or rather we can say a uh, number of tins in one carton. Here, horizontally, you pack six because each has a diameter of ten. Here you pack three, so you multiply by three. So the first row will have eighteen, and you multiply by two. Uh, so that uh, because they 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 have two two lev uh, that is uh, two lev two layers, uh, so it means that the number of tins that are there equals to thirty six tins thirty six tins. Uh, part B of the question we are told an empty carton and an empty tin weighs uh, five hundred and sixty grams and three hundred and uh, three hundred grams respectively. The jam packed in one tin weighs 990 grams. A pickup in uh, a pickup which can carry a maximum of 600 kilograms is used to transport the jam. Determine the number of uh, the number the maximum number of cartons the pickup uh, can carry. Uh, so we can say. Uh, we can say we have the the carton is five sixty grams, tin is three hundred, and the jam is uh, is uh, is nine hundred and ninety. So we can say uh, weight of carton. You say it is five sixty the weight of the carton uh, plus uh, three hundred the weight of the the weight of the the weight of the the can uh, and then uh, this is uh, the weight of the can we mo uh, we add uh, we add the weight of the jam 990 uh, and so that is uh, uh, that is uh, and we, we are supposed to multiply uh, this we are supposed to multiply by 36 so that uh, we get uh, we get the total number that this is this is the this is a can and this is a, the the jam inside so we multiply by 36 the carton remains the same because it is only one carton and uh, this when you multiply this uh, you should be able to get you use your calculator you get 47000 uh, grams 37000 grams uh, which is equals to uh, we can say this are uh, 47 kilograms when you divide by a thousand because a thousand grams equals to one kg so you can get the since the pickup can carry 600 uh, kg and we have seen that one carton is it can uh, weighs 47 uh, so we can say number of cartons in a pickup 
is equal to uh, 600 you divide by 47 and this will give you approximately or we give you uh, 12.7659 uh, so cartons so we say this is equivalent because it cannot we, they are not packing half cartons then we say it will be able to carry 12 cartons 12 cartons the pickup will be able to carry 12 cartons uh, but see the factory delivered uh, a pickup full of cartons uh, to a jam retailer the factory sells uh, one carton of retailer at 2000 880 uh, the retailer sells each tin at uh, 110 calculate the percentage profit so if they are selling uh, we can get the profit the seller is uh, since we are, it is uh, we are saying uh, 12 cartons delivered you multiply by each uh, each carton has 36 cans and each can is being sold at 110 so that is what the 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 the, the retailer will, will get and the and the factory they are selling they have delivered 12 you multiply by each carton they are selling at 2880 uh, so when you when you uh, uh, try this with the calculator you get this is 47,520. That is the money that that the retailer will make, and the the, the factory will sell at that 4,560, which you get it is 12,960. So that is the amount the retailer will make. So we can say a uh, percentage profit is equals to you take this amount that is 12,960 you divide by the selling price at the 4,560 and you multiply by 100 and you get 37.5% so that's how you work out that question and you should be able to get 10 marks